Hello and welcome to Damn to Be finishing slash continuing my playthrough of Moonlight Tragica by Nats Gonzalez. I'll link it in the description below. And Beatrice and I just had a moment where we held hands and walked home. So in this moment, at least in my head, I I believe it was just in the background. Not not only in my head, but also in Beatrice's mind. It was it was Joji slow dancing in the dark in the background while we hold hands and share this kind of intimate intimate moment. I feel I don't know. I feel like I need to riz up Beatrice or something. Like I, I <laughs> Ah Beatrice. But we'll continue and lose a health as the day begins Beatrice and I hopefully she feels the same way that would be sad it was nice to hold her hand okay so back to witch hunting one that is a witch of despair okay two the Unrequited Witch. The Unrequited Witch is a witch who waits for a return gift, or at least a thank you card, long lost mail. Long lost in the mail. Aww. I don't even want to Why would I want to fight this one? I'm going to, but... That was a seven. I have a two in my hope. I'm going to roll my dice. I got a two... Plus my two to hope, that's four, plus the two, since it was the weakness of the witch. If I use the power of girlhood, I could get a plus two. But I only have one of those left. I have two. I think I'm just going to eat the damage. Beatrice, save, save your skills. I'm going to go against the switch. I think I can get her. That's a three, four, five, six, seven. Is that what I needed? Seven? Nice. This switch is gone. And I will level up my hope by one. <clears throat> my hope is three. My love is three. My justice is one. I'm going to give myself one health and Beatrice a health, which will increase my affection for her. Oh, okay, I guess it just wants to be blue. That's okay. And now I take that witch off the list. And we will begin a new day. Number one. Number one is a witch of despair. Take this one off, did I? Number five, the matron witch. The matron witch is a witch of elder motherhood. Her skin is so thin you can see through it. Okay. So I am going to use all of the hope that I have. I got a two. That is not going to do it. Um, that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take one damage and try again. That's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to call out to Beatrice and be like, Beatrice, I need the power of girlhood to gain a plus two to my attack, uh, which will defeat this witch. And I can cross her off the list and distribute the two HP. The matron witch is off the list. I am going to level up my hope by one. That's a four. I will give myself one HP. And I'm going to give Beatrice one. I want to increase my affection with her. Um, oh, I should have used the power of friendship, shouldn't I? That's okay. My power of girlhood is down to zero uses. Zero. It's a zero. Close enough. And we will continue into the next day. Beatrice, be with me. Number four is a witch of loathing or the centipede witch 
That sounds terrifying. A witch of great potential, she gorges herself in preparation for a metamorphosis that will not come. Okay. Her DC is 9. That's a 5. So, plus my love, which is 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. That's above a 9. I defeat this witch. Bye-bye, centipede witch. You sound terrifying. I am scared of centipedes. So, plus 2 HP. And I can mark centipede witch off the list. I'll have to remember to do that when I roll back, scroll back up. I'm going to gain one HP and give Beatrice one filling her meter, which will fill uh, the third big bubble. That makes me excited. I like this part of it. Level three. She's laid out on the bed of your childhood bedroom. The swirls and checks of the comforter giving way beneath her form. She looks bored, tapping away on her phone. You ask her what she thinks it's like to be a witch. She lifts her eyebrows. Awful, she says. You do think they look unhappy. You tell her this. Mm-hmm, she says, pursing glossed lips. Eyes not leaving her phone. Miserable. It's the fate of all magical girls, though. You and I included. You tell her that you're glad she's your best friend. She looks up from her phone, then. She says, You're my best friend, too. She looks so beautiful as she reciprocates the precious words. Her dark hair shifts over her face, and you fight the urge to push it out of the way. You think you might be a little in love with her. You're not sure. You've never had a best friend before. Are you in love with her? Yes. E1. <clears throat> Please mark the square flag on your character sheet to the left of the affection meter. Please mark the square flag on your character sheet to the left of the affection meter. Flags are important story decisions that will impact later interactions. Oh yes, you're definitely in love with her. Fuck. Okay. Beatrice. Yeah, I can't let her die. Look. Okay. So, next morning arrives. We lose our 1 HP and continue witch hunting. I need to get rid of the cloister witch and the centipede witch here. Because kind of witch we got four. Witch of Loathing. Oh, and the matron witch. Forgot to mark that one off. A, so this is going to be the golden witch or the vice witch. I got a five... So I'm going to roll again. If I get a odd number, it's going to be the Golden Witch. An even number is going to be the Vice Witch. That's a one. That's the Golden Witch. The Golden Witch is a witch of grand talent. Her great height shall be met with a greater fall. DC of six. Oh, did I increase my... I didn't. I need to increase my love by one. Increasing my love. Okay. So my love is four. I rolled a one. That's okay, because I don't think I even needed to roll. Because if I'm attacking with the weakness of the witch, add plus two to the attack. I have a four. The four plus two is six. So that's a seven. Awesome. So the golden witch shall fall. That will increase my love. By one. Beatrice and I are both going to gain one health and continue the day. Oh, I get to I get, I get add a, an affection marker. I like that. Okay. So then the next day happens. We re-lose our health. This is going to one, a Witch of Despair, which is the Hatter Witch is the only one left. So, Hatterwitch. Hatterwitch is a witch of many talents to many people. The hands she holds have ripped her to pieces. Oh, is that her? Dang. DC6. Once again, I don't think I actually need to roll for this since I have such a high hope. I got a 3 plus 4 is 7. So, Hatterwitch is gone. Wonderful. I'm going to. Yeah, we're just gonna 
So I'm gonna give one snack to Beatrice and one to me. Increase my affection with her. And then in the morning it's gonna go back to minus one from where we are. Save myself a step. Following day, I am out of despair, which is to do. That's a six. Haven't had but one witch of violence so far. That's a one. The glass witch. The glass witch is a witch of great power and little mercy. She is certain she will be different. Okay. My justice is only one. I rolled a two. So that's three. Four, five. I think it's time to use the power of friendship. Reroll my die. That's a three. Four. Five, six. Is that enough? Yes! Just barely. Glass switch will fall. And I'm going to continue and do the same thing as last time. Where I give Beatrice a dessert. And myself one, we regain a health, and in the morning we are going to lose a health. But Beatrice's bubbles filled! Okay, so for the fourth large node, turn to page 11. And 11. If you have a square flag, go to E4. You are in love with Beatrice. It slinks down your neck from your brain to your gullet. Consumes your waking thoughts. You fight beside her, you walk beside her, you eat cheap fast food beside her. You do everything beside her. She's your best friend and your only friend. She's your everything. She smiles at you with white teeth. Should you ruin everything and tell her? Tell her! There's not much time left now. I love you, you say. She's sitting beside you on a low wall outside a gas station. Both your mouths are blue from blue-flavored slushies as you sip. Your hands are touching pinky to pinky. She looks up. She looks sad. That's a bad idea, she says simply. And you know. Whether I say I know or never mind, this was dumb. I go to F3. I'm going to say I know. She ever so cautiously leans into your space. Really? F3 already? She ever so cautiously leans into your space. Her lips are glossed and shiny, parted slightly as she tips herself closer to you. She offers herself up, up to you. She states only, I'm sorry. Kiss her or don't kiss her? Kiss her. Please mark the circle flag on your character sheet. To the left of the affection meter, flags are important story decisions that will impact later interactions. You kiss Beatrice. All is well. Beatrice! My heart. My... I don't know. Hello, oh, Beatrice. A three. A witch of loathing. No loathing. No loathing. Oh my goodness. There are no loathing witches left. Six. Glass witch. Four. The Gossip Witch. This is a violent switch weak to justice. My justice is two. The Gossip Witch has a DC of nine, a witch of encyclopedic knowledge, and a taste for the dramatic. She surrounds herself with a draping of misery. I rolled a four. My modifier is two, plus the two from it being the weakness. So that's eight. What did I need to get? Nine. I'm gonna take the damage. I'm gonna go again. Oh no, I got a one. That definitely doesn't hit. I'm gonna fall. I will not fall. I'm gonna lose one more health. And go again. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Nope. Minus another one. And another one. Another one. That's not what I meant when I said and another one. Beatrice, be with me. Three. What does the power of friendship do? Let me re-roll. I cannot believe this. <sighs> Everything was going so well. Everything was going so well. 
Okay, that's a four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nope. I need a five or higher. Please. This is my last chance. Six! No way! The Gossip Witch almost got me. I I can't share these with Beatrice, though. I need... I need the health, unfortunately. That will increase my justice by one. Three. What a, what a three. That is. Oh, I guess I did have one Loathing Witch left to do. I think it's impossible for me to fail that. Uh, today is a Witch of Loathing. There's only one left, so that will be the Fleeting Witch. Oh, yeah. I gotta get rid of my health. And Beatrice's. Okay, this doesn't want to let me do it. That's okay. Got it. The Witch of Loathing has a DC of 7. I have 5 for love. Plus the 2. I, I defeat it. I rolled a 4. The Vice Witch is gone. And I am done with Loathing Witches. Once again, I think I'm going to use this. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Sorry, Beatrice. I would give it to you if I could. But I really couldn't. So today, a six. That will be a violence switch. A three. The Panopticon Witch. The Panopticon Witch is a witch who enjoys immediate oversight. Her spotlight makes all those caught in it anxious. Her DC is eight. I have a three in justice. Rolling. I got a four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will be good enough. The Panopticon Witch falls. Let me take a look at our health here. I I gotta protect myself again. Sorry, Beatrice. And in the morning, we will lose one health each. Only a few witches left. Four is a Witch of Loathing. I don't actually have any of those left now. So, two, a Witch of Despair. The only one left is the Fleeting Witch, a witch with a quick step and little to hold her down. She will chew off her own arm if caught. The modifier for this is Hope, so I'm going to attack this witch. I got a six, nice. So that will defeat her, and we will gain one HP. Me and Beatrice. I'm going to fill in one of her little circles. I forgot to switch this to. This should be... Should just be one. So there are only two witches left. I'm going to skip the first roll of the next day. But we will... Lose a health. We'll lose a health. And... I don't know what numbers these were. Burning and Scorned. I rolled a four, which was gossip, so let's do scorned. No burn. Yeah. Mm. Evens for scorned, odds for burning. Doing the scorned witch. Oh, I forgot to increase my justice by one last time. That's a four. The scorned witch is a witch... A witch to which a grave injustice has been done. She will not forgive, she will not forget. All right. I rolled a six. Nice. That's a good sign. Because I think that would might have been the only way I was supposed to. I was going to be able to do it. So six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I could have rolled as low as a four. But she falls. Which will increase this to five. This looks like a mess right now, but that's okay. I'm going to gain one and Beatrice is going to gain one. Increase her affection one. And in the morning, we're going to lose one again. Which the Burning Witch is the only one left. A witch of impulsive destruction and insatiable construction. All she builds, she will eventually set aflame. Six. Nice. So the Burning Witch is going to fall as well. 
now something happens. If, if all the witches are dead, turn to page 14, column A. The night is quiet. There are no more witches. There are no more nags, hags, haunts, and harlots to ha harass you. Whew! You have eliminated them all. You sit at the top of a short apartment building and wait for the sun to rise. You hold Beatrice's hand. We'll starve now, she says. We'll become witches ourselves. Together, you tell her. Together, she agrees. Your stomach grumbles. Your teeth crave sweets. You face east, feel the warmth on your face, and let time tick onwards. You've obtained the victor's quiet end. Thank you for playing. So we got our happily ever after, even though it's really not happy because, you know, we're, it's, it is what it is. But, wow. No lie, it really felt like I needed to protect Beatrice. And this game is beautiful. Replayability with the different endings. Really like that. I hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget to be nice to people. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.